Now, a day after Rahul Gandhi gets relief from Supreme Court, the fight for 2024 hits the top gear. Rajasthan Chief Minister Ashok Gehlot on Friday said that Rahul Gandhi is the prime ministerial face of the Congress and the only leader in the country who can take on Prime Minister Narendra Modi. So, very expectedly, a lot of politi uh, political reactions will come in on the same. But a day after Rahul Gandhi got relief from Supreme Court, the fight for 2024 hit stop gear. And now Rajasthan Chief Minister Ashok Gehloth also said on Friday that Rahul Gandhi is the Prime Ministerial face of the Congress and the only leader in the country who can take on Prime Minister Narendra Modi. So they are sort of pitching uh, Rahul Gandhi against Prime Minister Narendra Modi for the upcoming Lok Sabha election 2024. This is not the only word that we are hearing from Congress. Congress's MP uh, Adhir Ranjit Chaudhary also said that uh, all the false, all the false allegations have been proven wrong and the right has come to the fore. Now uh, we are hearing another word coming in from Rajasthan Chief Minister Ashok Gehlot that he's sort of pitching Rahul Gandhi against Prime Minister Narendra Modi and said that Rahul Gandhi is the Prime Ministerial face of the Congress and the only leader in the country who can actually take on Prime Minister Narendra Modi. This comes right ahead of that crucial Lok Sabha elections in year 2024 and after the day after Rahul Gandhi gets relief from the Supreme Court in the Modi surname uh, defamation case against him. Now, Supreme Court, you remember, stays Rahul Gandhi's conviction in defamation case over Modi surname remark and said that no reason was actually given for maximum punishment against him and orders now paves a way for his return to Lok Sabha. Bench said that uh, had he been sentenced for a day less, would not have been disqualified. I have CNN News 18's Pallavi Ghosh joining me on the phone line. Pallavi, very good morning to you. Could you give us more details about the political reactions now coming in from Congress's side? Because Ashok Gehloth is clearly uh, pitching Rahul Gandhi against Prime Minister Modi for that uh, upcoming Lok Sabha elections in year 2024. So recently, if you remember at the Bengaluru meeting, the Congress President Malika Jun Kharge had made it very, very clear that we don't want to become the Prime Minister's post. And that has given a sigh of relief as the rest of the opposition parties are concerned because they were always apprehensive about the fact that will the Congress party try to become like a big brother. And therefore, this comment coming in from a Chief Minister of Rajasthan is certainly right, uh, going to give rise to cat among the pigeons because you know we are going to have the third round of the opposition meeting beginning in Mumbai by the end of the month. Second thing is that it's very clear that the Congress party wants to use the Supreme Court verdict as a benchmark of positioning of Rahul Gandhi as the fearless leader. That may not be acceptable to the other opposition parties. So I think the BJP is certainly going to be taking advantage of this situation and say, look, the opposition was never united. And they've started fighting over who should be the prime minister. But the second, internally also, some parties like the Trinamool Congress and the AAP, who see themselves as uh, established leaders, as established parties, I don't think would want to agree to the idea of Rahul Gandhi being seen as the prime minister. Well, Pallavi, a very uh, good point that you raised about question being raised on their unity. But do we have any official word coming in from BJP as well on what exactly is being said by Congress MP Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary and now Congress, uh, uh, you know, Chief Minister of Rajasthan Ashok Gehlot as well? No, well, I mean, BJP has always been reacting because it's not the first time that a Congress leader has spoken about Rahul Gandhi being the PM phase. The BJP has always been reacting by saying that, look, we know that this is not a, this is a disjointed band, uh, 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 front. Uh, they are going to start fighting with each other. I mean, if you just go back in history, last time round when they made an attempt to cobble up an opposition unity, it also broke apart because of the differences within it all arose over the leadership issue. This time round, a certain amount of constraints is being maintained. But it is these comments which come up, like what one has come up from Ashok Gehlot, may actually trigger off more problems within the opposition. And I think that is what the BJP has been consistently making. The Home Minister said it inside the Parliament also. The Prime Minister also in his interaction with the NDA MPs and leaders have been saying that, look, they are not actually united. Let us come closer to election and then their differences will come out in the open. Well, Pallavi, we are expecting Rahul Gandhi's return in the parliament as well. What's next? What lies ahead uh, for him? Well, attending parliament lies ahead for him. I mean, he's certainly going to, if he gets reinstated, and this is going to be the last week of parliament, he is certainly going to use that opportunity to hit out at the BJP. 
and particularly target the prime minister um, again the party is going to position him as a leader but if you hear out on the sound bite yesterday i'm going to do what i want to do so he's going to see this as a win as far as the truth is concerned and a defeat of the divisive forces but the lok sabha secretariat is uh, actually awaiting the certified copy of the supreme court isn't it and so adhir ranjit choudhury has sought time from the speaker because a copy has come uh, the procedure is very simple the copy has to be accessed and accessible to the speaker the speaker may uh, take some more legal opinion so what the congress is saying is that when he was disqualified immediately because of a pending law in this case he should be also reinstated immediately so the longer it takes for rahul gandhi to be reinstated to parliament the congress will keep on making that a political issue against the bjp and the speaker definitely pallavi we will come back to you we have some political reactions coming in on the same let's listen ki jab hamari party ka chehra jo rahul gandhi hai pradhan mantri pad ke liye fir ye kya baat udti hai ki aur koi aayega to dikhe hamare liye to rahul gandhi chehra hai rahenge baaki high command jaane aur aage kya dekhte kya hota hai पहले से ही वो तो नई बात है नहीं अभी तो अध्यक्ष थे वो पहले तब भी वही थे मैं तो इतना कह सकता हूँ भी कि देश प्राची जानते हैं कांग्रेस वाले जानते हैं मोदी जी का कोई मुकाबला कर रहा है देश के अंदर उसका नाम राहुल गांधी है ये बात है I have BJP's RP Singh joining me on the phone line. A very good morning to you, sir. Sir, Congress is clearly pitching Rahul Gandhi as the prime ministerial face from their party for the upcoming Lok Sabha elections. They are saying that he is the only candidate who can actually fight the battle against Prime Minister Modi. What do you have to say about that? Well, just I and D I A. So one I has gone uh, popped up, and then says that I am going to lead the rest of you. Let's see how do the rest of them react. Whether how do Mr. Kedriwal, how do Mamta Banerjee, or how do Nitish Kumar, or how do Stalin, or how do they react on this? So let's wait for that because, as, as per uh, my understanding, all of them are the prime minister's candidates, and uh, I, I'm saying on the court, it's matter of time. Just the moment this uh, Delhi ordinance uh, is transferred into a bill, uh, then we have to see how do the Kejriwal react to the complete thing, because uh, they all are pitching for. the prime minister's uh, post and nothing more than that i mean they, all of them have only one agenda and one uh, thing in mind that they who, how can they become the prime minister of this country and uh, uh, let's see how do they work on this because now it's clear that uh, the uh, dynastic party has declared their candidate and let's see how do other party react and how, which candidate do they uh, for proper for uh, the prime ministership Mr. Abhishek, for the face of the INDA, ye. Yeah. Thank you so much for speaking to CNN News 18 and for sharing your perspective with us.